Hi everyone, welcome back. In this lecture, we'll take a look into conditional rendering in React application. Well, conditional rendering in React allows you to render different content or components based on certain conditions or state values. It helps you dynamically control what gets displayed in your UI based on certain conditions. Well, there are different ways to implement you kind know, of conditional rendering. For example, we can perform conditional rendering using if else statement. We can implement conditional rendering using ternary operator. We can implement conditional rendering using short circuit operator. All right. So these are the three different ways to implement conditional rendering. And in this lecture, we will see all the different ways to implement conditional rendering. So let us begin with conditional rendering using if and else statement. So let us head over to Visual Studio Code ID over here. And here, first of all, let's create a new file. Go to components folder. Within that, let's create a new file named conditional rendering dot js. Next, let us maximize this. And here, let's create a functional component named conditional rendering. So here, let us use const and then conditional rendering is the component name and then parenthesis and then arrow symbol perfect next within a conditional rendering functional component let us maintain the state variable using use state hook so here let us use use state hook and make sure that use state hook is imported at the top from react library and then here let us perform the destructuring like let us use the state variable name as is logged in is the state variable name and let us use the corresponding setter function that is set is logged in and then let us give the initial value as a false okay it means user is not logged in all right perfect next let us have if else statement over here if is logged in then we will return the JSX code so let us have paragraph element and let us say welcome user perfect else return please log in ok perfect next let us export this component by using default export export default and then component name conditional rendering perfect next let us go to app.js file and here go to app component go to return statement and here let us comment out this and let us use conditional rendering component and make sure that conditional rendering component is imported at the top okay just save this file and if you take a look at the browser please login is displayed well if you go back again to the conditional rendering component over here you can see initially the is logged in state variable value is false and if you look at the if else condition if is logged in is true then this functional component will return welcome user and if is logged in state variable has a false value then it will return please login and that is what get displayed in a browser okay so this is logged in state variable has initial value, initial value false that's why this functional component will return please login and this please login is printed over here and if you pass true over here for example and if you save the file and if you take a look at the browser, you can see welcome user is displayed. So this is how we can use EPL statement to conditionally render different content. Next, instead of returning, we can assign this HTML code to variable as well. For example, here, let us say let message and then remove this return and then assign this part to message variable and again here message next here let us have return statement and then let us have a due over here within a parenthesis due 
and then here within a curly braces just call message and then save this file and if you take a look at the browser you can see still welcome user is displayed and if you pass the false value here and if you save the file and if you take a look at the browser you can see please login is displayed okay so this is how you can use if else statement to return the javascript variable it contains the jsx code okay next let us have button over here so here let me add break element and let us have a button let's give button name as login and let us attach the unclick event to this button for that let us use unclick attribute and let us pass the event handler name handle login next let us implement this handle login event handler over here so here just type function and then handle login and here let us use set is logged in method to set the value to this state variable so here let us give value as a true it means whenever user click on this login button then this is logged in state variable will be updated with the true value okay perfect next let us save this file and if, if you take a look at the browser login button is displayed over here next click on this login button you can see welcome user is displayed all right so this is how we can use if else statement to conditionally or dynamically you know render the content based on the condition like this okay perfect next approach is conditional rendering using ternary operator so let us go back to vs code over here and let us use ternary operator to dynamically display the content so we can use ternary operator within a jsx code itself but if you can see the epls condition we are using epls condition outside the jsx code okay but we can use ternary operator within a jsx code itself all right for example here let us remove this and here within a curly braces just have a ternary operator so here is the syntax just call the current state variable that is is logged in and then question mark and then if this is logged in is true then we'll display welcome user so just copy this paste it here if is logged in false then we'll display please login so just copy and paste it over here okay so this is how we can use ternary operator to reduce some you know amount of code so if we use if else then we need to write this much of code but if we use ternary operator then we can write you know this much of code all right so ternary operator is pretty useful because we can use ternary operator in a jsx code itself to render the content dynamically all right so notice here the ternary operator has a syntax like the variable name and then expression 1 and then expression 2 if the variable is true then this expression 1 will get evaluated and if this variable value is false then this expression 2 will get evaluated okay and in this case this is logged in variable contains true value that's why this expression is get evaluated and this is what displayed in a browser next let us go to browser over here and let us refresh this and the initial value for this is logged in state variable is false that's why you can see please login is displayed over here next if you click on this login button you can see welcome user is displayed all right perfect next let us take a look into next approach conditional rendering using short circuit operator so let's go to vs code over here and here just remove this and here let us use the short circuit operator and and okay it means if is logged in you know state variable has a value true then only this expression will get evaluated otherwise nothing will display in the browser for example just save this file and if you go to browser just refresh and you can see nothing is displayed because this is logged in you know state variable has a value false if this is logged in variable has a value true then only it will display this part otherwise it, it won't display anything in the browser okay next if you click on login it will display welcome user because this is logged in state variable has a value true okay so this is how the short circuit operator works okay so whenever you want to display something or nothing 
then you can go ahead and use this short circuit operator all right so these are the three different ways to implement conditional rendering in a react okay perfect i will see you in the next lecture